Today I'm gonna to show you the three best intraday stocks for tomorrow. And one of them is a crypto. And if you stick around later in the video, I will throw in a bonus for stock for you to watch. You don't wanna miss these stocks, I promise you. First, we're gonna start out with Bitcoin. We will go to Redbox after that, GameStop, and then the mystery stock, okay? So let's start with Bitcoin. And man, what a ride this stock had yesterday, or this crypto. If you were in this yesterday, you ended with a nice blue candle, your MACD pointed up, blue above orange, everything looked great. I actually went in with an overnight position and ride on this one. The new day started, the new crypto day started 8 p.m. Eastern time last night, and this Bitcoin got hammered. If you watch this, it was down over $2,000 uh, last night. And it opened up this morning. It hadn't, hadn't recovered, maybe just a few hundred dollars this morning, so right, it was down, things like that. But all through the day, Bitcoin just kept chewing away at that loss and ended up uh, for quite a bit of the, the last three or four hours in the positive. Yeah, it called from all the way back from over $2,000 down to, to up to the positive. I think it ended down a couple hundred dollars. But anyway, what an impressive ride. Uh, roller coaster for sure. Uh, if this thing acts right tonight, we do not have another big steep sell off. I could really see uh, Bitcoin uh, challenging these highs of recent days up here around 32,400. If you can break that, you're off to the races up here to the 50 day moving average, which is right around $36,000. If that happens, stocks like Riot, Mara, and if you're into penny stocks, Nile, will follow suit. So let's look at Riot real quick. It tracks Bitcoin pretty close. This is a daily chart on Riot. And it opened up down uh, today. And it finished down for the day, but it did recover. Nice, strong volume. Your MACD, your blue is above your orange at the 45 degree angle. Everything's looking good. This stock, I think, is pretty much to the bottom and you are ready to rock it. If you can get up to your 50 day moving average, that's sitting up here at 1442. Your 20 day is just above right here. This white line, what is that? About seven bucks, something like that. If Bitcoin rockets, so will riot. So this is one to watch for tomorrow. See what when you wake up, see what Bitcoin's doing. If you got another big uh, day and Bitcoin was up nice and green, look for riot. Okay, okay. The next one we're gonna look at is Redbox. Ticker symbol RDBX. And man, look at this chart. This chart right here is beautiful. I love it. This is what I call, and a lot of people call uh, an inverse head and shoulders or some people call it a cup and handle pattern. This is the daily chart. Uh, over here is your left shoulder, here is your right shoulder, and here's your inverse head. What usually happens with these kind of charts, it's a bullish chart. Once you break this neckline right here, it's off to the races this way, north. Everything looks good. You had a strong, strong blue day, up 27%. Your volume wasn't that strong if you can get volume like you did a couple of weeks ago. <clears throat> this stock, there's no telling where this thing could go. Your first target is this high right here of $9.46 uh, cents set of, uh, was that last week or the week before? <clears throat> if you can get past that, you are off to the races. Now I do expect this probably at the open maybe to cool off just a little bit. Um, your short term time frames are a little overheated. So if you could pull back, let's look at the 15 minute chart. <clears throat> if you could pull back in this area right in here, uh, the 750 to $8 area, uh, sit there for a little bit and work off uh, some of this overbought pressure on the short term time frames, that would probably be an ideal entry point. I actually got in in after hours um, at 8.07, I believe it was sold off there for a little while. And it wasn't 10 minutes later, I sold it for 40 cents higher. So <laughs> come out pretty good on that trade. If I'd held it a little bit longer, I think it almost got to $9. But anyway, 
You don't go broke taking profits. Always remember that. So made a quick profit there. So I took it. Didn't want to hold another stock overnight because last night right bit me in the tail. Anyway, this is one to watch. Uh, definitely watch this one because this thing could absolutely explode tomorrow. Keep this on your watch list. And remember, folks, I am not a professional trader. I am just a redneck trader. This is redneck advice. So do your own D&D before you buy or sell these stocks. If you do buy a stock that I have talked about today, you're the one that buys it and you're the one that sells it, okay? I take no responsibility for that. I am just giving you my redneck opinion and what the redneck is looking for tomorrow to make money. It's what it's all about. Make money, okay? So yeah, if we can get past 9, 9.46, it is off to the races tomorrow. I'd like to see more volume come in. If you start getting strong volume, like you got over here a couple of weeks ago, there is no telling where this thing can rocket to. So uh, just hold on, have fun with it. It's above the, it got above the 200 day moving average today. You're above the 20, you're above the 50. Everything looks bullish on the stock. MACD is pointing the right way. You got everything. Nothing's guaranteed though. Next stop, GameStop. This stock, man, this chart looks absolutely gorgeous. Get my arrow to work here. On the daily chart, <clears throat> you got up. Uh, today, you tried to break out of this recent high of one, 148.46. You broke above it just for a little bit, and then you got rejected. So I am a little bit cautious at the open on this stock. I hope this is not a double top. I really don't think it is because... Look at your chart right here. I mean, this MACD looks absolutely beautiful. Look at that blue line above the orange just pointing straight up. You've got volume. He had a big blue day. You were up 14%. You're above the 200 day. You're above the 50 day. You're above the 20 day moving average. Everything is looking good for a breakout. If you can break out, I would say, let's say 150. If you can get above 150 and take out this little cluster right through here, maybe 155, you are off to the races up to probably $175, $200. Who knows? You get this strong volume like you got over here, you could rock it to $200 really quick. Not saying it's going to happen. Okay, you've got to have good market conditions. If the market is selling off tomorrow, you do not want to look at these. You do not want to buy on a down market day. If the market is good, these stocks look good, have got a good volume, then by all means, they are probably going to be a play. Just put them on your watch list, okay? If we can break this 150, we are off to the races if we have the volume. I, I'm really excited about watching this stock tomorrow. Definitely on my hot list. And now, for the last stock of the day, the, the uh, mystery stock. And you probably, some of you might not have seen this stock. Uh, if you were watching later in the afternoon today on stock twits, anything like that, uh, any kind of stock channel, you probably heard about this stock. And that stock is AERC, AeroClean Technologies. Now, I was on vacation yesterday and actually heard about this stock, but I forgot to put it on my watch list today. Shame on me. So you see, yesterday you went from $2.40 to $4.84. So you had a 100% gain from the highs to the low. I forgot to put it on my watch list, and boy, did I pay for that. Because if you go back and look today, you had a low of 385. You actually closed yesterday at 475. So you went down for the first hour today, and you got down to 385, and then it was just rocket launch after that, all the way up to a high of 1423. So this stock, absolutely insane gains. If anybody got in today and made a lot of money, Congratulations. I am not recommending you to buy this stock at this time. Just put it on your watch list just in case it does sell off tomorrow and then it relaunches. If you look at the 15 minute chart, see how volatile this thing is. So here's your day. Get this arrow to work here. So here is yesterday. You started up, uh, you opened at 248. You finish the day at like 480, something like that. 
went down for your first hour and then after that it was just rocket launch just straight up you sold back off down to nine dollars and then ended the day at twelve dollars and ten cents you did hit almost fourteen dollars again after you hit this nine again that's what you got to watch for tomorrow if you get a sell off back into your uh, VWAP your 20 day moving average be looking and see if you're going to get another bounce now it could break down and you could just keep going back down to five dollars so be careful out of the four stocks that I have told you about on this video this is the least this is the one that I would if you, you're only gonna put three of the four on your, on your watch list make this one the one that you don't add okay because this one can either make you rich or break you so be careful with this one just gonna bring it to your attention um, it's probably all over YouTube by now but just pay attention to this if you do get a big sell off just watch and see if your volume comes back and see if you can get a little play up I will probably leave this one alone I'm definitely gonna be looking at Redbox uh, GameStop and riot tomorrow that's the three that i'm going to be looking at uh, so when we wake up in the morning uh, we should know if riot's going to do good or not based on how bitcoin done tonight so anyway if you like this video please subscribe we try to do this uh every day during the week and until the next video make a lot of money and i'll see you then